How you doing? Hi, how are you? Good, thanks. My name is Emily. I was born and raised here in Smithtown. I graduated from Smithtown Schools, and now my children are going to school here. And I would just like to implore you all to continue making decisions for our children based on science and facts and expert recommendations and sometimes even hard truths and not to cater to those whose voices may simply be the angriest or the loudest, which does not automatically make them the majority. Quite frankly, there are people in this community who sadly are afraid to speak up, whether in favor of masks or in support of DEI, after seeing the virulent behavior exhibited by some people at these board meetings and at various local protests. What kind of example are we setting for our children? I, for one, would like to voice my opinion in favor of universal masking inside of our schools as we start the new year. The Delta variant is a new beast that now we know is more transmissible folks, folks, folks. and affecting both ch children, both in greater numbers and severity. We should be erring on the side of caution, not poking the bear. My son, who is going into third grade, has cystic fibrosis, a progressive genetic disease that primarily affects the lungs. And sure, he can protect himself by wearing a mask in school but he is greater protected if everyone is wearing one. And quite frankly, he is entitled to a public education in the safest possible environment. But it's not just about my son or any one person. It's about ending a global pandemic instead of stubbornly and selfishly perpetuating it. It's about working together and sacrificing for the greater good instead of whining about slight discomfort or taking a position based solely out of blind devotion to a political movement. There is a domino effect from not wearing a mask and spreading COVID. I don't want my children wearing a mask in school any more than the next person. But for now, it's the right thing to do, both for them and for society as a whole. This is a teaching moment for our children. And just to touch very briefly on the topics of DEI and CRT allegedly being taught in school with regard to the CRT, I went to law school, which is the only place where CRT is actually taught. This is a manufactured controversy designed to rally a base and further divide us. When I was in high school here, a fellow student was stabbed in the stomach in the school library by another student who shouted, I hate Jews. That same student had verbally harassed one of the few black students in our school the year prior. And if at the simplest, basic level, teaching our kids the importance of diversity, equity, and inclusion stops even one kid from acting like that or from simply thinking like that, then it's worth it. Kindness matters, compassion matters, decency matters, and we can all do better. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Ms. Cianci. Thank you. The next Excuse the folks, 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 settle, settle down, please. Excuse, folks, settle down, please. Thank you. Thank you.